All right, what's going on, guys? I'm your host here, Unspeakable Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Campfire mod for Minecraft 1.6.2. So this is going to be an awesome mod, as you can see. It is absolutely a crazy mod. It's very well made, and it's also extremely, extremely popular mod. Probably one of the best and awesomest mods out there, in my opinion. So basically, if you haven't already guessed, it is the Campfire mod. It's going to give you a lot of camping type stuff in this mod so obviously when you spawn in the mod from just installing it you're going to get this book in your inventory which basically gives you everything you need so that's why you don't see chest or anything around here with crafting recipes because everything you need is going to be in this book so when we open it up to right click and then to get out of it you're just going to press escape so if we get into it we have these four types of fires so we're gonna have all these different types of campfires and if we cl click on the first one, it will take you and show y'all how to craft it. It will show y'all everything you need to know about it. And if we go over, it will show y'all how to make the multi-cooking campfire, the fast cooking campfire, the cheap cooking campfire, and the insta cooking campfire. And if you keep going, it will give you your tents and stuff. So this is going to be a sleeping bag, and this is going to show you how to craft the tent and stuff. And then you're going to need these looking things. And then if you go back, whoops, what did that do? I don't know, that was weird. Okay, what is it doing? That's weird, okay. Anyways, but as you can see, basically what I mean is everything you need for crafting is going to be in this book, and you will get this book right when you spawn in your Minecraft world with the mod. But anyways, so basically we don't need to show you how to craft these things because everything you need to know is in this book. I mean, everything you need to know how to craft is basically in this book. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this mod and show you all exactly what it does. Starting off with this sexy looking armor that it gives me, and to find that armor, you will find it right here in the creative section if you have the normal if you're in creative and you see this just go over a page and then go under here to the cap camping stuff it has its own little section and as you can see you will find all the stuff that this mod is going to come with so first off it is going to come with this cool looking armor and as you can see you can still actually see my skin through the little hat which is actually pretty freaking cool and this armor is actually kind of weird because it looks like it moves every once in a while I don't know if it's just my hands or I can't really tell. I don't know. But anyways, moving on. Here is the one, two, three, four, five things of campfires. And first off, we're going to have the normal campfire. And it doesn't really do anything. And then next is going to be the multi-cooking campfire. So if we were to put a whole bunch of pork chops in here, if we, we can fit six in there, and then we were to put some coal, it would cook all our pork chops and it cooks them at multiple times it has a lot bigger advantage than a normal furnace and then the next one we have is the fast cooking campfire so this is going to cook your stuff extremely fast so if we put one piece of pork chop in here as you can see it cooks it a lot faster than a normal furnace would and then over here the gray one is going to be the cheap cooking campfire and basically i'm not really sure exactly what this one does but it kind of cooks your food extremely slow, but it doesn't take any coal, which is actually pretty cool. And then over here, we have the fast or insta-cooking campfire, excuse me. And then basically with this one, we can just right-click with any food in our hand, no matter what the amount is, and it will give it to us all cooked. So right now, we have 55 pork chops that are uncooked. And if we click on it, now we have 50 six pork chops that are cooked because we cooked the other one earlier so that is really cool and over here we have a whole bunch of little campfires over here and then they're just normal they don't do anything so if we take a whole bunch of dye so if we take this this i'm just gonna pick some random colors of dye and we can dye our fires whatever color we want so if we were to click on this one as you can see this one's kind of like a purplish magenta color and then this one will be light blue i like the light blue and that one looks pretty cool and then the gray one and a pink one and then green one then we need one more color what about a white fire okay that is pretty sweet so as you can see if you take the dyes and you right click on the normal campfire which is this one right here then you can change your fire color any color which is pretty freaking cool and then next we have our tents and to craft the tents like I said they'll be right in here if we go over a little bit um, to craft the tents you are going to need these little tent poles and to craft that you're going to need that thingy the little what is that called um i don't know what was that called it was called a camper's tool okay i was gonna say pocket knife because that's what it looks like but i remember it was, wasn't really called that so you're gonna need the pocket knife you're going to need these canvas things 
and all that stuff. But you can really look at it for yourself. It's re it's really it's not that confusing at all. But um, anyways, moving on. So as you can see, you have your normal tent right here, and you can actually modify your tent a little bit. So you can put chest inside your tent, and as you can see, you can right click it, and you get this huge inventory because there's like six little tiny chests in there. And also, you can put your sleeping bag in here. So as you can see, it is nighttime. So let's go ahead and test this out a little bit. Okay, what did that say? I can't tell what that said. Okay, um, what did that say? I don't know. Maybe if I go into get out of creative and do it, will it let me do it. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me do it. I have no idea what the problem is. But anyways, as you can see, you can put a sleeping bag in there, and it's not actually a normal bed. This is actually a sleeping bag. It might look like a normal bed, but as you can see, it's a really flat, so it's a sleeping bag. And then to get that stuff in there, you just simply hold it and right click it in there. For example. Um, I'll do a chest demonstration. So I have a chest in my hand, and to get the chest in there, you're just going to look at the tent, right click, and there you go. And then the pocket knife actually has some more advantages than normal. So if we take this pocket knife, we can actually get rid of the bed, for example. So if we wanted to get rid of the stuff that is inside the tent, you can do that. And the pocket knife also has a health bar on it, so you cannot use it forever. And also by right clicking it, we can turn the tent. Now you can't turn it forever because it will not keep going. Like this one won't turn because there's stuff in its way. And this one will turn because there's, it has a little bit of room. So as you can see, it will only turn two ways because it doesn't really have enough room. And same thing with this one. So it can't turn that way because it won't have enough room. It will like go off the cliff. And then next, what do we have in store? We have marshmallows. And uh, when you actually eat these marshmallows, you can cook the marshmallows and stuff like that with the campfires. And when you eat the marshmallows, it will actually give you these sticks back, which is really cool. So to have the marshmallows right here, and then you just put them on a stick, and then you cook it in the campfire. And then when you eat the marshmallows, it will give you the stick back, which is pretty freaking cool. So next, we're going to have these seed things, and it's called these radish seeds. So these seeds are actually found anywhere. You can find them in these pieces of grass right here. So if you click away grass kind of like you were getting normal seeds you will actually find them kind of like you do normal seeds I'm actually gonna change the time so y'all might be able to see a little bit better but these actually grow on normal grass so right here I have some seeds and as you can see you don't need a hoe or anything like that to um, use them and as you can see they grow extremely fast they're already getting away and growing as you can see let's wait let's see them pop up again wait for it a sec any sec come on um, is it gonna go? Nope, nope, maybe, maybe. I don't know, I don't think it's moving. Well, let's look at, okay, as you can see, it, it did a little bit, okay. There's some rain, rain's coming in, rain's coming in, okay. But anyways, um, and then the next thing we're going to have the very last thing, almost forgot about it. Let's go ahead and destroy these, because we don't really need them in our way. The next thing that we're going to have is the small, normal, and large camping bag. So it kind of adds the backpack mod into this so this is actually pretty cool as you can see so we have these small camping bag the normal camping bag and the large camping bag so first off the small camping bag if you right click it as you can see you can put about nine things in here and then the normal camping bag you can put obviously double that and then the large camping bag you can put triple that stuff so that is pretty sweet so it kind of adds the backpack mod in here so that is actually pretty cool in my opinion so that is going to be about it. The rest of the stuff in here, like the tent pages, the canvases, um, the stuff like that, that um, these two are used to craft the tents and stuff like that. So that is actually going to be about it for the campfire mod or camping mod for Minecraft 1.6.2. If you enjoyed, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I know y'all did. And if you haven't subscribed, I would definitely recommend it because I do a lot of awesome stuff like this on my channel. And that's going to be about it. I'm Unspeakable Gaming, and I will see you guys later. Peace.